All right, so uh, for us to get the equilibrium exchange rate, we equate the demand for the one to the supply of the one. So let's do that. This thing. All right, so this is the demand, this is the supply. So equating 1,200 minus 2,000 C equals 20 plus 3,000 C. So uh, group like times 5,000 C is equal to 80. C is equal to 0 0.016, okay? 0 0.016. So it means that um, if you have 0 0.016 CDs, you'll be able to exchange it for one yuan, okay? One yuan is equal to 0 0.016 Ghana CDs. I hope we understand that. Are we together? Yes. Can you come again? Yes. Can you come again? Yeah. What, what I'm saying is that the C, okay, is CDs in terms of yuan. The amount of CDs that we can use to get one yuan. So if this C is equal to 0 0.016, then it means that we need 0 0.016 Ghana CDs to exchange it for one yuan. Okay, for one yuan. So if you have one yuan, you can only get 0 0.016. Ghana cities. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. Good. And then the next question is saying that yes. how many Chinese yuan will be exchanged for one Ghana city? Okay. If you want to know, this is the amount of cities in terms of one yuan. If you want to know the amount of yuan in terms of one city, you would divide, uh, it will be one divided by the exchange rate, one divided by C. So one over 0 0.016 will be 62.5. It means that you need 62.5 one before you can get only one Ghana C. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you need 62.5 one before you can get one Ghana C. Okay. All right. I'm sure you know what appreciation and depreciation is. Appreciation is where the currency increases in value, and depreciation is where it loses its value. Okay. Now uh, we use demand and supply for the appreciation and the depreciation. If you take the yuan, eh, if there's an increase in the demand for yuan, yuan will appreciate. Okay, and then. The city will depreciate in terms of the yuan. But then, if there is uh, an increase in the supply of yuan, then yuan will depreciate in terms of the city. The city will appreciate. Okay, and vice versa. You can talk about the city as well. So, the, the C part is saying that suppose the government of Ghana now enters this market and uses Ghana cities to purchase 1 million yuan each week. So, what is happening to the yuan? There's an increase in the demand for yuan by one. The, this thing, I'm sure this 120 are millions. Because if you come and put one million here, the kind of values that you get. So uh, I'm sure the 100 is for 100 million. So one million, you just add one. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Cornelius. Yes, sir. Please, like the because they said the government enters the market, won't it be devaluation instead of depreciation? Uh -huh. see, see, eh? We need to uh, be very careful here. The market is the market for yuan, not CD. It's the market for yuan. That's why we're giving the demand for yuan and the supply of yuan. So if the government is buying yuan. If the government is buying yuan, then it means that we are demanding for yuan. So that enters the demand for yuan function. Are we together? Okay, yes, sir. Yes. You have CDs, you are going to buy yuan. It means that you are giving a supply of CD and you are demanding yuan. So to, to, to the Chinese government, there's an increase in the demand for their currency. So it will appreciate to Ghanaians 
there is an increase in the supply of CD. We are we are putting more CD in the market. That will depreciate our CD. Are we together? Yes, sir. Uh, so if the government of Ghana is buying one, then it means that there's an increase in the demand for one. So the yuan is going to what? It's going to appreciate. Okay, the, the yuan is going to appreciate. All right, so the city would depreciate and then the yuan is going to appreciate in value. Okay, so it means that the exchange rate will go up. The exchange rate will go up. If you want to prove this, I think uh, the as part of the preamble for the question, we're supposed to use mass if necessary. Okay. So let's try and do that. Now there's an increase in the demand for one by one, one million. So if you add one here, then we we'll have 101 minus 2000 C equals um, 20 plus 3000 C. If you solve for C, now the C is 0 0.0162. C is let's analyze this. Do you see the depreciation in the CD? Initially, we only needed 0 0.0. 0.016 CDs for one one, but now we need 0 0.162. So the CD has depreciated. Are we together? No, sir. See, yeah. no, sir. Let's, let's use the CD and the dollar. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, how many CDs do we need for one dollar? Mm -hmm. Nine CDs. Nine CDs, right? Good. Now, just assuming we wake up tomorrow and they tell us that we need 10 Ghana CDs for one dollar. What has happened to the CD? It has depreciated. It has depreciated. So, yes, sir. Initially, we needed only 0 0.16 for one yuan. But now we need 0 0.016. We can get one yuan. What has happened to the Ghanaian CD? It has depreciated. But then Bennett. the yuan has what? Has appreciated. And the exchange rate market, this market is for the yuan, not the CD. So there, there's an increase in what? The value of yuan. And there's a decrease in the value of the CD. Are we together? Please. Yes, please. Now let's let's look at the other side. You can find one over 0 0.0162 for one over 0 0.162. That is 61.7, right? Yeah, 61.7. Uh -huh. So now it means that to the Chinese, before they can get one CD, they need 61.7. But initially, it was 62. So what has ha happened to the one? Initially, you needed 62.5 before you can get only one CD. But now you need only 61.7. So the one has appreciated. Can we see the light? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So does it mean that? Uh huh. Okay, so I was I was about to ask that. So the rate pertaining to the depreciation and appreciation, it doesn't mean that maybe let's say when the dollar when you need ten cities for one dollar, that ten city doesn't mean that um there's appreciation of the city, but rather a, a depreciation of that city. No, now so where where are we moving from? You see, you have to move from one point to the other before you, you know if there, there's an appreciation or depreciation. So are we moving from nine CD to ten cities? Yes, please, from nine cities to ten cities. Uh -huh. So if you move from nine cities to ten cities, let's think about this. Initially, you needed only nine cities for one dollar, right? Yes, sir. But now you need ten cities. So in terms of value. Has the city reduced in value or increased in value? Oh, okay. It has been reduced, right? 
Exactly. Uh -huh. So yeah. that, that, that is a depreciation of the CD. And if oh. we get a depreciation of the CD, then automatically we are getting appreciation of the dollar. You understand? Yes, please. Uh -huh. So if one is depreciating against the other, then it means the other is appreciating against the one in question. Alex? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, so does that mean that when a country demands for the currency of another country, that's when it's um its own currency depreciates? That is one way. That is why Ghana's city is always weak. Because we are always buying from the outside outside world. And before you buy something from the US, you have to convert it to dollars. So we are always buying dollars. People are traveling to the US, they have to buy dollars. So we are always buying the dollar. And you buy the dollar means that you are supplying what? The Ghana city. And that reduces its value. Okay. Uh -huh. So as you are demanding for dollar, it means that you are buying it. If you go to US, to, to them, that is an increase in the demand for their dollar. And whenever there's an increase in the demand of a commodity, the price of that commodity goes up. And that is an appreciation for this uh, for that particular currency. Yes, sir. Uh, you see, that's why they advocate that if they want to arrest the dollar, we need to be consuming the goods and services that are being produced in Ghana. If we are buying them here, we don't need to buy the dollar and go and buy goods from there. But we, we, we have an inelastic demand for uh, foreign made goods. So we have to keep on uh, bu bu buying the foreign currencies. And that is putting a downward pressure on the value of our city. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Cornelius. Uh, sir, but, but will it only be there like for us to increase the consumption of the local this because we, we also know that like from one of the factors that causes the depreciation of the city is what speculation. Is what? Speculation. Okay. So the cities whereby uh, individuals in Ghana are now just uh, demanding the demanding for the dollar in order to hold it and later on then sell and gain profit. Mm -hmm. So in that see, case, see, the, the, the thing is that why are we hoarding? Because one, we we know that definitely we'll, we'll be buying the dollar. People will be demanding for uh, goods from the outside world. So definitely the, the value of the dollar will go up. So when it goes up, then we buy it. And you hoarding means that you are also buying it. You are buying it now. So if a lot of people are buying the dollar now and trying to hold it now. That will put an upward pressure on its value. So see, the, the, the forex, I don't know if you know something about forex trading. It's just about demand and supply. Just as more people are buying the currency, its value will be going up. And when people are selling it, the value will be coming down. That's just how the market works. Is that okay? Yes, yes sir. Yes. All right. So uh, now the question is that why why might the government of Ghana want to take the this step? What they didn't see, they caused a depreciation in the city. At times we we I'm sure you know what devaluation to is intentionally reducing the value of the currency. It's just to promote export. When the Ghana city becomes very weak, buying from Ghana becomes very cheap. So pe people from the outside world will try to buy more from Ghana. So at least the, the price side is that it will encourage export and discourage import. Because if the city is very weak, we cannot buy the things that we used to buy from the US. Now they will be very expensive. And that is what is causing this inflation in Ghana. 
Now, whatever you go and buy, they tell you that uh, now the dollar is too high. Even if you are going to buy water from a well, they tell you this, the dollar is not too high. We don't know what they use the dollar for when they are taking wells, but that is what they, they see. Everything is the dollar. Everything is the dollar. So if the government wants to discourage importation of certain goods, they just devalue the currency so, so that uh, people won't get much money to buy whatever they want to buy from the outside world. But that should encourage people to come and buy from our country. Yeah, Cornelius. So, sir, so like, but they said, um... Uh, for like one of the reasons why uh, countries that always have persistent balance of payment deficit is like they should just make sure that they uh, take this step devaluation of the currency. But this one is depreciation. So will it be the same thing? Oh no! See, see, uh, the the only difference between depreciation and devaluation is that devaluation is intentional, but de depreciation is subjected to uh, the forces of the demand and supply. Like that as well. In terms of value, it doesn't matter whether it's depreciation or devaluation. For devaluation, it is not about the market. The government will intentionally step in and, and do something to cause it to, to fall. By depreciation, it is not uh, merely intentional. There's an interaction between the demand and supply of the currency. So that one is even possible the government doesn't want it, but it can still happen because you cannot control it. We are not using the fixed rate regime. It is moving freely. So that one is not under the control of the government. But then for devaluation, it's an intentional step that the government will have to take. So, but then if it's devaluation or depreciation, there's still a fall in the value of the currency. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And then the impact, assume that the Central Bank of China decides to maintain the exchange rate at a fixed rate of 50 yuan per city. Should the Central Bank of China buy or sell its own currency? So now, uh, from the initial equilibrium, the exchange rate was 62.5 yuan for one CD, right? So if they want it to be 50 yuan per CD, then what is happening to the yuan? Do they want it to appreciate or depreciate? Appreciate. Appreciate. Very good. They want it to appreciate. If initially it was 62.5 for only one city, now they want it to, to be 50 for one, then it has to what it has to appreciate. So now, if you want your currency to appreciate, the demand for that currency must go up. So they will intentionally buy their currency so that demand for that currency will go up. And then they will see the appreciation they are looking for. Is that okay? Alex? Yes, sir. Alex? It's not clear. It's not, it's not clear. Yes. Alex? Do you mean, yes, do you mean they will intentionally buy their own currency? Yes, yes, they do that. So why is that a country? I mean, Ghana as a country is not doing that. Like, and very soon, eh, very soon, you learn uh, quite a number of the economic models that we have in the world. And you realize that the Ghanaian economy has violated almost all those laws. Our, our economy is very respectful. It doesn't respect at all. There's something called and I think the Phillips scale, okay, whenever um, there is inflation, people are supposed to get jobs. But in Ghana, we don't have jobs and there's still inflation. You see how wonderful we are? Yes, sir. Wonderful. We are very, very powerful. So we have violated 
most of the, the law. So don't don't worry at all. And please understand that this economic that we are doing is on paper. When you come to the real world, you will see things are different. But Umiya, His Excellency, is a living testimony that on paper things are very simple. But, but then if you come to the real world, instead of doing economic things, everything is electronic now. He, everything we are attaching e instead of doing what is really important it's just e e card e this e that but when he was there everything was on paper nice 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 but then you, you come and then uh, things are not just as they seem so this account that we are doing see you are not using you don't use it for anything you just have to pass if if you are come to stay in ghana this thing, they don't work in Ghana. Hmm? They don't work, work in Ghana. I'm sure even you, level 200 students, if they give you pen and paper right now, eh, and you you have to put down points to cause the city to appreciate, I'm sure you do better, right? But you come to the, bring that paper to the real world and then you see that our economy is very disrespectful. So that is Ghana for you. Right, so now we understand that uh, we have to, uh, they have to buy more of their currency, increase the demand, okay, so that their currency will appreciate. Now the question is, by how much, how much of their currency should they buy? Let's look at that. Now, they want uh, 50 yuan to be one, uh, Ghana CD, right? So first, from the equations, we're rather giving C. C is a CD in terms of yuan, right? CD in terms of yuan. So if 50 yuan would be one CD, then 0 0.02 CDs would be one yuan. Okay, you find that by what? Finding one over 50. We need to find this so that we can actually find the total amount of yuan that they have to actually buy. So they want 50 yuan to be one CD, which means that 0 0.02 CDs will be uh, one yuan. Now, let's assume that the amount that they have to buy is X. And this X will have to be part of the demand for yuan. Okay, so if you go to the demand for yuan function, add the X, the new amount that they are buying, add, just add it to the initial demand. So we have 100 plus X minus 2000 C. Our old supply is 20 plus 3000 C. But now we have C to what? C has to be 0 0.02. They want C to be 0 0.02, but they want 50 yuan to be one Ghana CD. So equating the two functions and substituting C for 0 0.02, you do this, you can solve for X. Uh, X, okay, you saw for X, X will be 20. What this means is that if they increase the demand for their currency by 20 units, then 51 will be exactly equal to one CD. You can prove this eh, by putting the 20 here, put 20 here, here will be 120, okay, here will be 120. So for C, if you saw for C, you get 0 0.02. Yes, Alice. Um, so you said first that um, you think they are in millions. So does that mean 20 million? Yes, 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 yes. That is what I think. Oh, see, I don't know. At, at times, uh, it's possible uh, there was a typo error. And the thing was corrected during the exam time, but then we wouldn't have it on this paper. Because if you, you have to do 20 million, if you add 20 million to 100, I mean, it will be, you'll be getting some weird figures. Yeah, but then they have to buy 20 million, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so please, any question? Uh, no question, but we're waiting for the, this one, yo. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Please, your interpretation. 
for so, your interpretation of the X, you said that means if if X is 20, please interpret it again. You are saying something. Yes, if if they buy 20 million yuan, okay. If they buy 20 million yuan, then the exchange rate will come to 0 0.02. It will mean that 50 yuan will be equal to one Ghana CD. I mean, that is the X that we're looking for, the amount of money that they have to buy, the, the amount of yuan that the government will have to buy in order to uh, cost the appreciation of the yuan from 62.5 per CD to 50 per CD. <laughs> Sir, what about if we just substitute the C, the C to be equal to 0 0.02 into the demand uh, function? You put it here. Yeah, just substitute into the demand function. Uh -huh. And then do what? And you saw for the amount that they would demand. How, 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 how do you do that? If you put C here, then you get 100 plus X minus 2,000 times 0 0.2. It's not equal to anything. How do you go for it? Oh, okay, okay. And then one point down. Right, so uh, I think we will end here. I have to run, I have to work too. So uh, I will send you the videos and I'll send you a link that you can download this particular file. Okay. Please, your number, your number. Uh, you can call me on, uh, I'm, I'm putting it on the page. Eh? Yeah, I'm not on the page, you say. Oh, I mean this page. He mean the Zoom page, not the WhatsApp page. <laughs> 0541. I hope you can see the page. Yes, sir. Yes, you can see. <laughs> so you can call this one. It's on WhatsApp as well. So you can get me on, me on this. But then I will add my number to the link to the YouTube video. Okay. Oh, tomorrow, okay? mm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. All right, you're welcome. The first number is more up. Really? Yeah, the first number is not up. Yeah. Is there 541 I'm coming. Hey, what just happened? Uh -huh. 0541. This thing is not bad, though. We are in Ghana, we use binary. 0515184. Oh, oh, oh. It's like this rather. 843. Is that okay? Please try. Oh, sir, we didn't get your number. The number is on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, please, are you on WhatsApp? Yes, please. The first, this one is on WhatsApp. Yes, yes. The first is right. Ah, say your number is nine. Okay. Uh, uh, it's not the uh, not... uh, chat page as well. That's the first one on WhatsApp. Mm. Please, uh, can we get the link for the YouTube videos? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm now coming to upload it. So you have to give me like 30 minutes, OK? OK, sir. Please. The name of the YouTube page. Oh, now I have privatized all the videos. So even if you go there, you won't see anything now. So what when you get please? the link, it will take you that. Like, it will just take you to the video. That oh, one. That page. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Some of us are not on that page. So if you put it there, me personally, I'll not see it. About how did you get the link to this? Meeting. Please, uh, our president sent to us. Our president yeah, so sent to us. I will too. send the link to Abia. I told you he's my brother. I will send the YouTube oh, okay. link to him and then he will forward it. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, but sir. But after you are done watching, subscribe, okay? Like and share. Of course, of course.
you people have to subscribe. Yes, sir. Thank o you, sir. Over a thousand of your students have already subscribed. I've been in the system for a very long time. Industry. All right, please. All the best. Likewise.